Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Sunless Sea. And we are at Gator's Morn in the Corsair's Forest. The Morn is a stalagmite. I should remember that. Not a stalactite, but a stalagmite. And we are going to try to buy some souls. So let's see. Ah, a shivering Corsair with a package. Oh god, they're cold. Take them from me. Take them. Where's my money? Don't you cheat me. Take them. But I want my money. Need a thousand echo? We have it. A sigh of relief. Oh, oh, I feel it lifting. It's gone from me. You never saw me. Okay. Don't lose your cargo. I hope we won't. An evening at the Aaron Limpent. A straightforward challenge. We have a 100% chance. Let's do it. A drinking den by the dock, Cradles, is a good place for your crew to find companionship and let off steam. But although Gator's Morn is a free port, the Corsairs prefer their own and look askance at respectable Londoners. A rousing evening, nonetheless. Your crew reaches the limpet, a whole cycle of epically filthy sea shanties, or teaches, teaches the limpet a whole cycle of epically filthy sea shanties, at one point, you could swear you hear your name inserted in one of the more complex verses, but you maintain a diplomatic silence. So we've lost 5 Terror, 50 Echo. Oh, wow. That's a lot of Echo. But we've succeeded in the challenge. So really, we just basically paid 10 Echo per Terror. Not a good trade, and I'm not going to do that again. Let's explore the Morn. A patriotic dispute. A group of Chelinate hunters exchange heated insults with a Connate privateer. It looks likely to end in blood. We could leave. We could raise our own flag, which is a high-risk challenge. We could side with the Kaganians. 56% chance. They may be foreign, but at least they're halfway sophisticated. Or we could side with the Chelonians. They may be uncouth, but at least they're brave. And that's a 75% chance. The Chelonians are savage ghouls who live in a dead turtle. The Kaganians are decadent cowards who can't hold a kingdom together. Ooh. Let's do it. 75% chance. We failed! Failed! The Chelonians are fierce fighters, but the Kaganians have the discipline and the handguns. They rout you both. You withdraw to the safety of your ship. We've gained five terror. We've lost a crew member. Ah. Bad times. Let's gather intelligence. 81% chance. We'll probably fail that too. No, we succeeded. Okay. So we have a port report. And let's get out of here. We have... Plenty of fuel and supplies. Just to take a little bit of a look-see. We can go... Let's go east and then south and then past Pigmoat Isle. We're not going to stop there, though, and take a side. And then maybe we can go to the Canal, Mutton Island, and back to London. Okay. That sucked. But at least we have one less crew member to feed. Ah, the Z. The Z is making my morality questionable. We have discovered the Antonine Abyss. Let's, uh, keep the fuel. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. We don't want to mess with that thing. All right, good. Very good. Ooh, the music is kind of eerie here. I don't think I've heard this particular tune before. We've left the Gator's Morn area, and now we're in the next area. So I wonder if there's something here to find. Terror. Hmm. Oh, there's something. 
Ooh, a place to land. Ace? Ace Caven? Ice? Ice Shaven? Ice Coven? Wow, interesting. Godfall. Sometimes, just occasionally, bits of the roof fall off. Be glad you weren't here when this one did. Ah, I see, so it's a part of the roof that fell off into the ground. The brawling, bearded men who live here call themselves monks. They pay lip service to Saint Stalactite, which fell from the roof, but their chief interests seem to be wine, blood, and shouting. They'll pay for wine. We do not have that. Offer them a hunting trophy, which we do not have either. Let them tell you about past and present events in the monastery, sure. Tales. They are eager to talk about their history. The stalactite, they assure you, was one of the citadels of the starved men who dwell in the roof. When it fell, a few of its occupants survived to become the monk's progenitors. How does that work, you wonder, with their vow of celibacy? <laughs> they become vague and are suddenly eager to speak of the details of passing shipping. All right, we have our port report. And we could explore the Shattered Citadel, but we need five Foxfire Candles. Purchase these at Mrs. Plenty's Shipside Provisioners. Interesting. All right, well, we found a new place. We'll probably get some good money for it. Godfall. So now we'll head south and then west. Perfect. Terror is at... 19. Well, we'll keep the light on. We have enough fuel to make it home. And the Admiralty will give us a bunch of fuel. And what is this? This looks very organic. Like leaves. Weird. Discovered Peterson's Rift and the Sea of Lilies. There is a prison here, guarded by not oracles. Oh, yeah? Let's slow down for a second. Oop, no, no. There we go. Let's send out the bat. Sea of Lilies is some distance to the west. Interesting. Well, let's go check it out. Peterson's Rift. Some distance to the west, you say. Ah, there we go. But is there a place for me to land? Maybe. Maybe up here to the north. I don't see anything. Whoa. A white Z-Bat. A Zaylor has grown fretful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck. Even in port. There's a white Z-Bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. Salt? Zaylor's superstition. Order him on deck at once. Salt. Salt, one of the nameless gods that Zaylor's fear. This Zaylor is a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a fever. Or we could shoot the Z-Bat. If the bloody thing is frightening your bloody day or bloody crew, you'll bloody well settle its hash. We have a 100% chance of success, but that seems... Ooh, that seems like a bad idea. Let's just send him to the sick bay. And onwards. The Zaylor is grateful, though your ship's doctor rolls a skeptical eye. When he next goes up on deck, the railings are clear of Z-Bats, white or black, and he sets to work with a will. We've lost terror, and we know something of the three gods of the Z. Ah, 
Alright, so the Sea of Lilies is nice and all, but there's no place to land. I, I, I'm probably close to a that prison or whatnot. I would like to find it. To get some port reports. Running a little low on fuel, though. Oh, this looks this looks good. All right, wisdom. Oh, the port is on this side. Discovered Nup Mit Harbor. Very good. Very good. Let's see what this place is all about. The prison walls are mercilessly steep. Nupmit built this place as a prison for the Khanate. Now it answers only to its governor, and its governor answers to no one. Hand over a prisoner, which we do not have. Engage a secret for a prisoner, which we do not have. Compile a port report, which we can do. Ships from the Khanate are most common, but you see Chelonite vessels Polythreme triremes with chained and sulky unfinished men, corsairs disposing of their miscreants, even one furtive Iremi skiff. The wardens pay them well for their prisoners. Interesting. Rescue a prisoner. A high-risk challenge. For what purpose? None. Let's get out of here. Alright, so there's stuff we can do here. Just not right now. And I'm going to turn off the light, because right now terror is less frightening to me than running out of fuel. And where are we exactly? Okay. Yeah, we definitely want to start turning, turning to the west. We've veered very far off course. Oh, I was like, why are we going so slowly? Perhaps because you need to put this thing in overdrive. And it's all built on a giant lily pad. It wouldn't be the place I would think to build a prison, but I suppose it works. 24 terror. I can get up to 30, I think, without feeling too... Too bad. Oh, the salt lions. What a fortuitous trip this has been. That should slow down the increase of terror. Now it's increasing rapidly. Okay, whatever. Cowards. Now the Salt Lions is actually a great place to make some money, provided you have money to begin with, which I do not. But I think if you have 200 Echoes, you can deliver salt, which will give you 1,000 Echoes. We're running a little bit low on fuel. There is a vast sorrow in their empty eyes. The salt lions, two basalt beasts, cathedral-sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. We can visit the unmakers. Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Fungal Tisan and Tea Cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4? I wouldn't call a Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More Tea Cakes? So we got a fragment, and we've lost five terror. Lovely. Let us compile a port report. Record the activities of the Unmakers, such as they are, Rite of Stone and Silence. Alright. Well, we definitely are going to come back if we ever have some money. Let's get out of here. Okay. Whew, we are, we're pretty far from home and running low on fuel, so... Terror it is. Let's just... I'm, I'm gonna not go to the canal. Actually, I found so many things that I'm just gonna head straight to Fallen London. 
we'll get a ton of fuel from the Admiralty for all these discoveries that we have made. But if we stay by the buoys, we won't get as much terror. So we move from one to the other cautiously. Ooh, that's one of those big crabs. I don't want to mess with him. Oh boy. Good thing my light's off. Okay. So let's just veer slightly north to Mutton Island. Let's get past that crab. Alright. Lovely. Good, good, good. That is one big crab. Imagine, imagine for a minute if those things were real. If sometimes cargo ships, you know, going from one continent to another ran afoul of giant crabs the size of battleships. Would certainly make life more interesting. All right. I think we're okay with fuel. I'll let Terra get up to 30. Well, now we're down to three fuel. Having a night out with my likely lass will reduce terror, though. Okay, wow. We're still pretty far from there. Well, we are at 30 terror, but not much I could do. Let's head toward the light. Thirty-one. It's okay. It's okay. We're almost at the buoy. Thirty-two terror. We are south of Mutton Island. Or north of it, I should say. We'll get the light back on. We have enough fuel to make it home, I'm sure. 32 terror. Does it actually go down? No, I don't think it does. It just increases more slowly. All right. Okay. No, we're not getting drinks. We're not getting a wretched mog. We could explore the shore, I suppose. We could chat with the fishermen. Okay, we have our port report. So now we can explore the shore or visit the hilltop above town. 83% chance, let's do it. Toasting the wind, you stand on a cliff top, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island, channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is a southerly. We gain two terror! Well, great! What a wonderful day this is, and we gained 32 fragments. That's actually quite a lot of fragments, okay, cool. And that's it, we're out of here. Off to London, what are you? Are you dangerous? Are you, are you, what are you, are you gonna ram me? What are you doing? Okay, cool. Oops. Excellent. All right. Lovely. I'm supposed to get rid of terror, not gain it, but I guess things happen. What is that? I don't know, but we are already at about 20 minutes, so I just want to avoid the crab. 
So we'll go to London. We'll try to sell our souls. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Not sell our souls. We'll try to deliver the souls that we purchased using borrowed money. And we will also try to sell our port reports. And then next turn, or next episode, we shall search for this place the Admiralty would like us to explore. All right. Lovely. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Oh, well. Wasted some fuel. That happens. Oh, boy. The Revenue Men. The Custom Service. Declare all controlled goods. Pay the customs duty on any untaxed souls or romantic literature. We don't have enough money for that. Talk your way out of the search. We don't have enough favors. We need five. Or set something aside, which is a 62% chance. Oh boy. Well, we have no choice. Here we go. We have failed. They took our souls. Oh, son of a gun. They shake their heads with real sorrow. We lost 56 Echo, so we're out of money. We gained suspicion. And now... Now we're in trouble. Good evening again. It seems you do not have the package we expected. Perhaps you still possess the payment and a suitable sum for interest, and to cover the expenses of myself and these stout gentlemen. Otherwise, we must visit a reckoning on you and yours. Oh boy. A high risk challenge, 11%. We're going to lose it. Overrun. They are numerous, determined, and brutal. They storm the ship, break bones, crack skulls, fling helpless men to the drownies below, leave crippled sailors behind them. I've lost my entire crew, all my money, and Marcus the Fourth has died. You will be mourned. A bleak dawn. It's over for now, but... Choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. Your first captain has died. Oh no, this is not my first captain. Now see that, 68%. If we had only made that roll, we'd have been fine. And there's no going back. So... I could, theoretically, be a correspondent and retain my chart... However, I would lose all of my, not my pages, but my fragments, which means that finding places would not give me more fragments or pages. So while I'd still see everything, and I wouldn't have to explore again to see things I've already seen, I won't gain any experience from seeing things. So that's really the choice. I mean, I either end the series now, or I start again as a correspondent and we just kind of go from there with everything from scratch but at least we can see everything that already exists all right well just let me know in the comments what you'd like me to do whether it's done this series has been good and you all want to go out and play the game yourself or if you'd like me to continue as a correspondent once again I am Marcus Aurelius thank you so much for watching have a good one